Well, good day, Tube. So, how's she going? So, uh, I guess we'll finish off this feller today. Feels like that tire's gone down a little bit overnight, so I'm gonna let the uh, air out. Uh, pull the core out of the the dewy here. Maybe I'll let it right out, and we'll see if. Uh, If <laughs> she'll uh, break the beads again or not, or or what here? Anyways, let's drain her out. Yeah, wasn't much left in there compared to what I put in her, eh? Holy. Anyways, uh, maybe I'll flip her up here on that uh, front nose again and uh, see uh, see uh, what we can do with this tire here. like this side broke again on us here which is okay but I, I can't remember now if the other side had broke at all even when it was flat before but uh, it's gonna give her a feel I don't feel that bad I don't know boys it's feeling pretty good and clean and uh, 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 in there too, but uh, so I think what I'm going to do it's actually really good in there it's really clean, so uh, I don't know, I think what I'm going to maybe do is just get some of my tire bead sealer stuff slather a bit of that on, then I'm going to pump her up with some of that uh, green slime stuff and then uh, drive on, fill her back up, drive on. Okay, so this stuff I got here is just a <coughs> bead sealer. Bead sealer, it's just kind of like a black, sort of stinky, kind of gluey smelling stuff. And uh, this really isn't the... Oh, oh. This really isn't the best of ways to be doing this, but uh, I'm going to go at her, I guess. Let's kind of be generous and slather my, my brush is a bit wonky loose there. I hope it doesn't break off on me here. Uh oh, <laughs> she broke. Oh man, how the heck am I gonna do this now? I'm gonna be all sealed. Probably when I got her open here too, I should be throwing in a new valve stem, but I don't have any actually so we'll just have to uh, hopefully assume that she's all good to go okay that should be locked there that sucks that dewy broke it wasn't welded on too well there but anyways not a biggie okay so while we got her um, get that way Grab a little towel here. I'll uh, get the uh, pardon me, pardon me, squeeze me, pardon me. We'll get the uh, green goo here. And uh, <clears throat> now this is 30 mils per pump, so 30 mil. And for a wheelbarrow. Tire, they say 237 for an ATV is 710 to 946. Uh, truck is 590. Ooh. The ATV takes a lot more. Or trailer tire is 355 mil. So uh, I'm going to say for one that size, probably around 400 mil. 
So if we do 15 pumps, that should actually give us around 450 mils in there. So I think probably that should be lots. So we got to get this feller attached here. Straighten out all the line. I think the last time I just cut a piece of this off. Okay. I've got to open this feller, which we've got to cut the dewey here again, too. Okay. So 15 pumps should get us 450 mil. Which should be, yeah, should be all right. It's not as big as an ATV tire. It's not as big as a truck tire, that's for sure. Okay, so 15 pumps. So, so we get her pumping here. And over the other one that took a bit to get her primed. One, two, stupid zip ties I had on here is so all screw the line. Three, four, five, six, seven. because I felt a couple weren't very good. 16, 17, 18, 18, 20. Okay, now how do you clean the, the mung out of here? Putting in a little bit extra. Okay, that should do her. I'm all slimy! Ah! Okay. Pull that off, it'd probably be a better pressure. Oh, slime pressure. <laughs> all right. Now we'll grab our Dewey again here. Put that feller back in. Should be good. And we'll have to grab our filler dewey here and uh, pop some more back into her. Okay, so believe it or not, it says inflate to 12 PSI on this thing. I don't think my thing even goes that low. I could probably do. I actually probably could get it to 12. Actually put it to 20 while that stuff's in there maybe that'll give it a bit of push out pressure to find a leak and fill her full of that good stuff there we'll just give this one a little checky check over too that's not too bad this one didn't seem to be leaking, so we won't do much with it. Now, I don't know how well this stuff will distribute itself around while it's cold out, but um, I don't know how well it's going to distribute. Just have to let her do its thing, I guess, and eventually it shall find the holes and do what it has to and uh, she should be never having a problem again hopefully 
Well, just before we do say we're done here with this feller, we'll just give her one more little fire up here and let her run maybe for a couple of few. And uh, I was going to give him a call, see if he wanted me to take it back to him, but my phone's dead. <laughs> so, that's no good. But anyways, fire up here and see. See if she's good. thing run out there for a wee little while and uh, while I'm doing doing that I'm gonna maybe uh, I've got the welder spooled in here I'm gonna do some filling back in on this fella here I think I got her pretty well straight I actually put her down flat on the on the bench my other bench there rolled it and you could see the wobble on the thing I'm like oh it hit a bit more there and it actually you know eventually come out pretty good so we'll uh, have to start filling this in slowly here and then try to mush us all flat again and uh, it was this side here I think that was wore off the most so I'll have to bring that up a fair bit it's not gonna be perfect not gonna be like brand new but uh, she'll add a bit more life to her maybe and uh, I won't film probably that because it's gonna probably take a while and uh, it'll be kind of kind of boring for you so we'll uh, show you the molten puddles of uh, weld on here maybe after but anyways uh, here we go well I guess we uh, <coughs> scorched that enough I'd say holy <laughs> that's hot that is H O double T T T T. Oh boy, she just catches fire instantly. Woof, woof, woof. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty warm, boys. I'm not touching it, but anyways, turn that back on, maybe. And uh, she's getting pretty warm, so I thought maybe I'd stop for a little while. But I uh, think overall, sort of hard to see, but I think we're getting. A little better anyways it's brought her up quite a bit I think so that stuff the trouble with that is it's not like a hard uh, hardware stuff so it'll probably burn off real quick again but that's okay that's okay uh, check this fella out here again sounds like it's still going so that's a good thing that is a good thing lovely That's going to be a fairly good oh, machine there. That's good. I'm happy. All right, I just talked to the feller. I had to juice my phone up to get a slow number, but I talked to him, and uh, he says, yeah, bring her out. So anyways, we're going to cold grimy fire this, this thing up. And yesterday, she did not run very well at all when it when it was, uh, when it was uh, real cold. So we'll see what it does today. Now, I actually went to... Uh, that real nice TSC I like last night. We took a sort of a night trip and that was a nightmare. It was like snowing like crazy over there. But anyways, we uh, put in some Supreme before we left in this thing and uh, well, darn near filled her up. Oh, there she goes. Wow. It's really not happy. <laughs> I don't know, boys. It's fine once it warms up, but who knows. Oh, now she's going good. But anyways, uh, whatever, we're going to have to uh, freaking scrap this truck or something. I don't know. And uh, we got to go hook the trailer up. It's sort of parked behind the Jeep right now. Holy. And uh, go load the lower on and away we go, hopefully. I uh, just checked this fella here before we blow it up. It looks not too bad. Uh, it's going down now, so 
That's looking a little more better. It'll uh, wear off again. <laughs> Stem's still a little warm. It'll wear, it'll wear off uh, in no time anyways, but uh, I think it'll get us by for now. But uh, let's uh, grab a tripod and uh, do some loading here. We are good to go. Hopefully I can make up around the corner here again. Oh yeah! No sweating. But anyways, we've got a bit of a drive to get there and then uh, probably won't film anything out there because you know, you might probably not alright with that. So it's his own, you know, personal house kind of thing. So, uh, but anyways, here we go. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. It's freaking snowing everywhere except my place. <laughs> Or I want it to snow so I can really give my plow a good test out. Ah, snowing crazy and crawl. Well, not super crazy, but it's a lot more than uh, I got at home. I got nothing at home, and you know, out here it's like blizzard. Oh man, this is so depressing. Oh well, I guess summer's gonna have a white winter, but uh, well, we got some white, but you know, I want like a foot and a half of snow to test this uh, plowing blade out. That'd be super awesome. But, uh, not to be, I guess. Not yet, anyways. Oh, well. She's not too slippery, though, yet, anyways. But uh, on the way home, might be a little more different. But it's about a half an hour-ish or so each way. Maybe, uh, not quite that much. Maybe 20 minutes each way. So, but anyways, uh, what do you do? She's winter. Oh, just got going here. Not stupid light turned on again. Arr, stupid thing. But, uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to have to do a bit more digging, I guess, into that uh, EVAP system there and see if there's something else like that solenoid valve or the pipe actually the vent pipe could be collapsed maybe somewhere it's leaking or something that could be a major problem probably wouldn't be a bad idea to replace her anyways because i know from that uh, charcoal box there's a short piece of uh, plastic and then it goes into the metal and then from there up the rail there so shouldn't be actually too hard to trace her either it's pretty nice and open there too which is really nice and um go from there I guess and uh, try replacing maybe those two fellers and uh, if that still isn't doing it then I guess after that would probably be that stupid uh, canister the charcoal canister it's maybe bunged up with crap or something too maybe I, I don't know I don't want to do it all at once I want to sort of do the somewhat cheapier stuff first right so I got lots of line and uh, and uh, probably a solenoid valve I get fairly cheap ish but ah um, uh, Probably won't be bothering with that until uh, she gets warmer again in the spring because it's going to need to, uh, well, I guess next November it'll have to go in for an e-test if we still have this thing then. I don't know. I'd really like to get into something newer, but uh, uh, as financially as these trucks are, they're pretty darn expensive. So we're going to have to keep this one going for a wee little more longer, I guess. And uh, I mean, it's fine once you get going. It's just, you know, the cold startup freaking issue. And, uh, um, this stupid light coming on that's about the only things that are really wrong with it so other than that I don't know whatever okay as you can see by the snow we are delivered <laughs> it's not really snowing in here but uh, got kind of roped into uh, bringing back his sons into town which is fine because I gotta go that way anyways and uh, dumping that off at his house so he's uh, actually doesn't live too too far from us so not too bad I don't mind he's a good fella he looks after us so but uh, He's got uh, one of those sort of newer style ones, uh, 
kind of want to say it's a John Deere machine, actually. It's uh, pretty deluxe, even with the hand warmers and everything. It's really nice, you know, but it was all frozen. The drive wouldn't work, and yeah, you can spend a lot more money on a machine, and uh, she's still going to freeze. <laughs> so he, he, I didn't want to force nothing, but uh, he just on the handle for the drive, and it kind of pulled out and stayed out and uh, didn't drive very well. <laughs> So I don't know what's going on there, if it's frozen or... Uh, it's kind of scary, but uh, it's not my machine, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to just drop this off and then I guess uh, we'll head her home. Alright, we're just heading back into town. Uh, I'm going to see if I can catch the uh, GMC dealer guy here. Uh, not the guy, the place. There's a, a truck sitting, or it was sitting. Uh, never mind, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It was just behind their sign there, and it was all dinked out with uh, uh, Skyjacker lift kit and everything all on it. It's freaking huge. But anyways, I guess stuff moves around there pretty fast. They probably already sold her. All right, that one's delivered, and we're heading her home. <laughs> and that's going to be it for today, I guess. I guess I got no more time to work on my junk today either. So I guess I got a little bit done there. I got that uh, skid shoe uh, welded up a little bit there, so that'll, that'll help. But... Uh, Oh, tomorrow we might get into making some brackets and stuff, and uh, I should have probably brought that thing in overnight, but I guess I can bring her in tomorrow, whatever, maybe, and, uh, ooh, slippery. Uh, she's going to need to be, uh, it's like freaking winter up here, eh? Holy, this is insane. But it's probably nice and sunny and clear and 98 degrees at my house, but whatever. <laughs> so... That is probably going to be it for today. Don't think I'll be getting into too much now. But if it is snowing like this at our house, and it does that all night, that's going to be a fair whack of snow. Oh, big hill. Come on, baby. Nothing like fishtailing the trailer on. <laughs> Woo, I bet you the guy behind is like, holy crap! But anyways, <laughs> it's really slippery out here, surprisingly. They've got, I guess, some salty crap down, which has gone slushy, and then the snowy stuff's gone on top of that again, so it makes it pretty grimy, greasy, right? Oh, ABS is working. Do you hear that grinding? That's good to know. At least that's fixed. Kind of neater today, you know, but uh, most times of the year you don't. But anyhow, I'm going to head her home. Better uh, keep my attention on the roads here, and uh, we'll talk at you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thanks for watching, and maybe tomorrow we'll be doing snow. I don't know. We'll just wait and see, but... Anyways, thanks for watching again. See you tomorrow. Oh, you can hardly see Orangeville. It's so, uh, like, foggy, snowish. Go all night. Go all night. Go all night. <laughs> oh, well. We'll probably get about this much, and that'll be it. See what I'm talking about? Almost home here, and it is nothing. It's all over that way. Arr. Ah, you know, I'm wishing for snow, and one of these days, I'm probably going to get completely hammered with it with about four feet. <laughs> and then I won't be able to do anything with it. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Well, there's a little bit coming there now, but holy man. We're just where I was there, like, two minutes down the road. You couldn't hardly see. And here is, like, sunny in 95, like I'm saying. But, oh, well, what do you do? Anyways, we'll talk at you later.